Wesleyan University was established in 1842, over 178 years ago, as the oldest co-educational institution of higher education with a religious affiliation west of the Mississippi River. Pioneer Hall stood as the first physical structure on campus until 1853, when its neighbor, Old Main, was constructed. The university's fourth president and future senator, James Harlan, is credited with the development of Old Main. He went door to door raising $15,000, over 500,000 in today's currency to get the building built, which greatly increased the instructional space on campus. On the east side of the building, tucked almost out of sight, is a stone marker amongst the iconic red brick of the structure. The marker reads, Class 1907, Ian McLaren. But no such name is listed in the graduation roster of the class of 1907. So who was Ian McLaren? And why is there a stone marker with his name at Old Main? Ian McLaren was the pen name of a Scottish Presbyterian minister, the Reverend John Watson. Watson was born in Essex, England in 1850, and he studied at Edinburgh University, later training to be a minister at New College in the same city. In 1874, he was licensed by the Free Church of Scotland. Watson wrote religious texts under his given name, but chose Ian McLaren as a pen name and pseudonym for his fictional works on rural Scottish life, including his popular 1894 publication, beside the body briar bush, which sold almost a million copies. So how is Ian McLaren, a Scottish minister and author connected to Mount Pleasant or Iowa Wesleyan? McLaren was completing a college lecture circuit during the spring of 1907, and Iowa Wesleyan was to be his final stop for the season. He arrived by train on April 23rd, 1907, but unfortunately McLaren was suffering from tonsillitis so instead of heading right to campus, he was taken to the Brazelton House on the Mount Pleasant Square to recuperate. Unfortunately, McLaren developed an abscess in his inner ear, which burst and caused blood poisoning. He passed away at the Brazelton House on May 6, 1907, 13 days after his arrival to Iowa. A memorial service in honor of McLaren was held at the University Chapel. The Wesleyan News on May 17, 1907 reported, on Thursday evening, as the train upon which the body of Dr. Watson had been placed by the men of the senior class, and upon which Mrs. Watson took passage to accompany the remains of her loved husband on his long, lonesome journey of more than 4,000 miles over land and sea to find his last resting place in his own native land, Slowly, steam doused the station, and the college bell tolled out the 57 years of the departed guest. And at the same time, the sweet notes of Nearer My God to Thee from the cornet in the hands of Lowell Anderson floated out upon the midnight air from an upper room of the college chapel. The next month, the senior class at Iowa Wesleyan petitioned the Board of Trustees to place a memorial stone in honor of Ian McLaren on the exterior of Old Main, where it is still present today. This would be the end of the story, but did anyone catch a familiar name in that passage from the Wesleyan News? Lowell Anderson? Lowell Anderson was born near Bloomfield, Iowa, and was in the Iowa Wesleyan class in 1908 as well as the composer of our still used today Wesleyan hymn. Wesleyan.